Hi. In this tutorial, we will show how to populate fixed sized modules. In this example, we would like to populate tiles over the roof surface. Before creating the grid and populate the tiles, we need to pay close attention to the surface. Please note that dividing a surface domain by length might not yield equal distances across your surface unless it is a simple rectangular plane or a straight extrusion. As you can see, we get the desired distances along the edges, but we end up with a variable distances at the interior of the grid. One way to create evenly spaced a grid is to use the btgrid array command. You choose the base point, but it defaults to the active C plane. You can change the U direction along the U arrow or the V direction along the Y arrow. In this case, we will reset the V direction to be along the surface. You can change the spacing, but also the number of grid points in U and V direction. We just need a big enough grid to cover our surface. Use the paneling from grid command, PT panel grid, and select the base surface so that the resulting curves will be pulled to the surface and trimmed along the edges. You can use the curves to create the 3D geometry. For example, you can extrude the curves by a certain amount to generate the 3D geometry. All beams have the same length and also connect at 90 degrees. Now, if you would like to create the tiles that are of equal dimensions, you can run the PT command and instead of outputting curves, you can output faces. Selecting the base surface will be used to trim the resulting panels against that surface. You can extrude these surfaces tapered, for example, and generate all the tiles, the 3D tiles, that are of equal dimensions, and the end tiles will be trimmed against the underlying surface. Now, if you have a unique module that you would like to populate along your roof or any surface, then you will need to observe a few things. First, what is the tile footing that you would like to use? Because sometimes you need to overlap these 3D modules, in the case of roof tiles, to be able to get the desired result. Once you calculate the exact footprint of your tile and get the dimensions, then you can generate a grid with that exact dimensioning. Again, you can use PT Grid Array 
and use the dimensions you just calculated. As you can see, PT grid array remembers the U and V directions. Now all you need to do is reset the spacing to the uh, U or X direction and V or Y direction. Remember to allow enough number of grid points to have a full coverage of your surface. Once you have the grid, you might want to trim it to have just enough grid points so you don't populate more tiles than you need. Run PT Orient to Grid command. And select your module, select the base point and the exact width and height of your footprint. Don't select a fourth point, otherwise your module will be deformed. Now you select your target grid and if you like the directions, press enter and then your tiles will be populated on your roof. Thank you.